and today I am doing a review on the Repelica production of Familiar Scents and Moments of Varying Locations and Periods Perfumes by Mason Margella Paris. Um, I received these complimentary for free in exchange for my honest opinion and review from not only Influencer but Mason Margella themselves. So I cannot wait to get into this video. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys the bottles up close. I'm going to be describing the scents to you guys. I've done a quick review on TikTok, but I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on YouTube. And then on my blog, I'm going to go even more in depth. So if you guys didn't know, I do have a blog um, that I do like writing. And I feel like I type a lot more in detail than I do when I talk. So I'm going to try to keep this video under 15 minutes so that way um, I don't put any spo spoilers in from my blog and that way you guys can go and check out the blog for yourself to find out any other details. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and I hope you guys will enjoy this video. So this is what the box looks like. Um, it's really pretty and they're all little sizes and I love that it like is like captivating like certain like locations and periods in your life like there's the beach walk jazz club lazy sunday morning by the fireplace and bubble bath i've had these for a week and i've been able to test them out i've been able to try them on and i can say that mika and i both have a favorite in here that he likes on me um and that's the one called by the fireplace it smells so amazing like you're sitting right beside a burnt fire going but also it smells seductive so anyways let's go ahead and open the box so this is how they look on the inside they're just mini travel size perfumes they don't really have a pump which I don't like they have like a little hole at the top so you have to be careful how much you actually like let out because you could pour it all out at once but I love the packaging it is so minimalistic I guess you would say it's so like aesthetic I just love it so so much and I love the names and yeah so let's get into removing each one and showing you it up close so here's beach walk you could tell I've used some of it so they're just like little bottles so beach walk to me definitely smells like you're by some kind of water at first it smells like a pool but then when I really got into thinking about it, it could smell like the ocean, but it just smells like a summer day is what I can describe it. It has like a scent of like summer floral and just very like mature scent. That's that's how I would describe it. It's a very mature scent. Um, so here's what I was telling you about the hole. It's just an open hole and um, the cap closes and it closes really tight. It doesn't have leakage or anything like that. Um, I just prefer having like a little spray because I feel like you might add too much and like I would love for these to last a little bit because I love the smells. And um, so yeah, that's just the only con I have is like the hole and it having like a little spray thing and stuff like that um that so i'm gonna rate these one out of five that is probably um i would say number three just number three so this is probably number five this is jazz club So, this is number five only for one reason. This has a really strong scent of like a, a, like a jazz nightclub is what I would say. Like it's mature, but it's very oaky. And it has like an earthy undertone, which I don't really like. But either way... It's really a nice scent if you're going out to like a club or date night um, and stuff like that. I just do not really like that that musky scent that it has after the fact of like the other stuff I said. Um, 
like the clubbing smell and all that, there's like a musky scent after that I don't really like. So that's number five. Beach walk is number three. Um, lazy Sunday morning, believe it or not, is number two for me. So this is what this bottle looks like. I love this one. So this one has sort of like a very upbeat smell, but a very settled smell. So like it's a very good everyday type perfume. And it's not very mature, but it's also not very like florally. It's that in between clean fresh smell. So this is why this is number two for me because I love a perfume that you can use every single day where it's not too strong it doesn't really have a certain smell it's just a clean fresh with like a hint of like something to to let you know that you smell good you know what I'm saying for number one it's definitely by the fireplace and Mika and I both agree with this one this one really smells amazing it literally smells like you were sitting by a fire it literally smells like you're sitting by a fire, you're having a date night, I could smell the more the s'mores. But then you get like this undertone of like a seductive scent that I love. It like creeps up after that fiery smell, it creeps up underneath and it just smells so amazing. Like this is definitely good for date nights, for those nights that you go out. It's just an amazing scent. Um there's no cons to this one other than that I, I wish the bottle was super bigger because this is my favorite um this definitely uh this definitely sums it up for me so yeah and this bottle this lid for some reason is not as tight as the others so I try to um make sure that you know it gets on there so this one would be number four and it's bubble bath so this one it has this weird smell so I don't know if you guys ever were like a kid but where you would smash like an ant on your finger and it had like this like weird scent I kind of get that at the beginning but then I like the after scent so this is a very other clean scent but the thing that puts it at number four is that squished ant smell. Like, I, I don't like it. Like, I just don't like it at all. Like, it's not, it's nothing against the perfume itself. It's just, I'm not into those scents. But the aftermath of it, like, when you, like, you get past that part, it smells so clean, so fresh. If this did not have that like weird smell this would be lazy sunday morning this would be number three but it's number four so yeah it's just uh, -uh. it's not my go-to i've used it a couple times because i'm trying to use the least favorites first because i'm trying to make my favorites last but yeah so overall this box is definitely a 8.5 out of 10 for me and the only reason why I'm saying this is because there are a couple in here like I said four and five are ones that I strictly wouldn't go for but one through three are definitely my top which again number one is by the fireplace uh number two was beach walk I think yes and number three was lazy Sunday morning so as you guys can see, these are really, really cute. And they would be easy to travel with, too. Um, I would just probably carry them in the box because of the lids. Like, by the fireplace's lid is kind of, like, tilted over a little bit. And it's not, like, screwing in there all the way. But other than that, I would travel with these. And I would even probably buy, like, a little, like, a little bottle of some something that had like a spray thing on it just to add the liquid in there so I could spray it and it could last a little longer 
So yeah, this is definitely 8.5. I just want to shout out Influencer and Mason Margella for sending it to me. I gave you guys my 100% honest review and opinion on this. Like I said, anytime that I'm ever sent anything or Mika's ever sent anything, we will be 100% honest with you guys because that is who we are. We will not beat around the bush with anything. I don't care if we're getting paid or not. Um, obviously, we're not being paid or sponsored for this because we got this for free in exchange for our honest opinion and review. But... If ever in the future we collab with anybody or anything like that, I will be 100% honest, open, and clear with you guys whether you should buy it or not. And honestly, if you are into these kind of scents that I, des I described, you should definitely check these out because there's nothing really bad to say about them. Like, I would literally buy the full size of Buy the Fireplace because it's just that good. And Beach Walk and Lazy Sunday Morning, like, these are the ones that I would definitely go for. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys are excited for more reviews, thumbs up this video. Um, also make sure to check out my makeup page at Makeup by Shauna 093 on Instagram. We also have all of our other Instagrams in the description and link in the description. That link is by Linktree. It is not a spam link or anything like that. Honestly, if you tap on it, it shows you all of our links. It shows you Mika's Instagram, our Instagrams together, our TikTok together. If we ever post like a short on here saying that I did a makeup live on TikTok or a makeup video on TikTok, just click that link and it'll go straight to TikTok. I promise. It's not a spam link or anything like that. You don't need to pay money or anything. Um, we did put our Amazon wish list though because people have asked us in the past to put an Amazon wish list. We also have our Cash App um, in the description as well because people have asked. We are not asking for anything. But if you want to send donations or anything like that, you're more than welcome to. Um, again, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. And until next time, peace and love. Make sure to comment, like, rate, share, and subscribe with all your friends and family. Let them know about our channel. Our channel has everything you could ever dream and imagine. And until next time, guys, peace and love. Bye. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun.